Welcome to Gazrath Tutorials. I'm Gazrath and today we're going to look at triggers. In front of me I have two cubes. I have a green cube and a black cube with a stick above it. Our green cube has a trigger around it that is player only and our black cube has a trigger around it that is for objects. To demonstrate, when the player enters the trigger, it sets a boolean and then on update moves it based on our boolean. So if we leave the trigger, our cube comes back. And now for our object, when I enter the stick into the trigger, it will cycle through colors until it gets to white. And if I remove the stick, it becomes black again. We're going to open up our triggers for our player trigger. All we have to do is set enable to on and trigger on players. And then we have our player trigger script, which has our start position, the cube that we're moving, and a is stay boolean. For our object trigger, is a little different. We have enabled on, trigger on set to objects tagged, and the object tag I have stick. So what this means is any object that enters the trigger and has a tag called stick will activate the trigger. We also have a is stay boolean, our starting color, and the cube that we're changing the color. Explain about our tags. Let's bring over our stick. Under attributes, we have our tag here and I have stick. So if I were to remove this, grab our stick, put it in the cube, it will no longer work because the tag on the stick is no longer stick. So if we go back and add our tag again, grab our stick, and now it should work and change the color. Again, we have two scripts. We have a player trigger script and an object player script. Now we have when world is started, we are setting our start position to the position of the cube. When trigger is entered by player, we're setting is stay to true. So there is currently no on trigger stay event. So we have to create our own. So when trigger is entered by player, we are going to set a boolean is stay to true. When the trigger is then exited by the player, we're gonna move our cube back to the start position and then set our is stay boolean to false. And in order to get our on stay event to run, we're going to use our on update. So if is stay is true, we're going to move our cube by 0, 0, 0.01. So if I were to then go and say we don't set is stay to true, and then I walk into our cube trigger, nothing happens. I'm going to set that back to true. We rock in and then off it goes. Now our object trigger is very similar. A little more complicated with the color script, but it's all basically the same. When world is started, we're gonna set start color to color of the cube. When trigger is entered by object, which is the object that is tag is set on the trigger, we're gonna set is stay to true. When trigger is exited by that tagged object, we're gonna set cube color to the start color. We're gonna set is stay to false. And then on our update, if is stay is true, we're gonna get the red component of the color of the cube. So if that number is less than one, we're gonna set cube color to the color of cube plus a new RGB value, which is 0 0.01 on the red, 0 on the green, and 0 on the blue. So what this will do is, if red is less than 1, it will increase it by 0 0.01 every frame. And then we're going to do the same thing with green. So until green hits one, we're going to increase it by 0 0.01 on the green. And then again, on the blue, 
until it hits one. So when it's one, 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 it'll be white. So just to demonstrate again, we're gonna grab our stick and we're gonna put it into our cube. It's gonna go red, yellow, and then white. And then back to black. All right, that is all I have for today's video. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. If you liked the video or if you learned something, if you found it helpful, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified for all my future videos. If you have any suggestions for a tutorial video for Horizon Worlds, please let me know in the comment section below and have a good one.